In this video, we are going to be dealing with subjects. You can see there's subject, and we have a few specimens here, a few examples. So let's look at the first sentence, the boy and the girl. What's the subject here? Well, the boy, or the word boy and girl, those are the subjects. They're the nouns, and they're the ones that are going to be doing a verb or verbing. I'm going to show you in a second because I'm going to bring the verb in in this video. I'm going to combine subject and verb because that is the most elemental, fundamental units, or those are the most fundamental units of the sentence, subject and verb. So we know we need the nouns to be the subject. So we look here at many people, people, noun, subjects, words like many. These are what we call modifiers, words that modify. We don't worry about it because many is not verbing. It's the people. What about the dog across the hall? Well, we know the dog is a noun. The hall is a noun. Is that the thing that's verbing? Great question. Let's look. Aha. Uh -huh. The dog across the hall is barking. Hopefully the hall <laughs> is not barking. So who is doing the verb? That is the subject. So I usually it's a, of course it's a noun, but the noun is the subject. Here's dog. Not all nouns in the case of hall. Part of the subject. And so we go back to the beginning again. There are nouns, boy and girl. They are the ones doing the verb here. Just eight, past tense of eat. And so boy and girl, those are our subjects. Again, they're both nouns. So we put subject here, noun, just to reiterate that. Subject, subject. And there we have it. Of course, many people swim. Again, don't worry about many here. People is a noun. People are the ones that are swimming. And so that's our subject. And finally, going back to the dog and the barking. Of course, the hall is not barking, but get rid of all these modifiers. Across, by the way, from the previous video, we mentioned that's a preposition. And so you can see that these are, of course, important building blocks of a sentence. But when you really want to isolate here, you're looking for what's called the simple subject. What is the thing that's doing the verb? And that's the most, at least the most basic form of a sentence is you have a subject and you have a verb. Because if you have those, you have a sentence. So, the boy eats. Very simple. Is it a sentence? Well, we have a subject. Is the subject doing the verb? You better believe it. The boy is doing the eating. So we have a subject or a noun. It's doing the verb. That is a sentence. Here are a few examples. And now we know how to build a sentence using subject and verb. In future videos, I'm going to jazz it up a little. I'm going to talk about the object case. We're going to have adjectives sprinkled everywhere. We're going to move on to clauses. It's going to blow your mind. It's going to be fun. But for now, we know that the subject and a verb together make a sentence.